Okay, everybody, it's Sammy Wheeler, and as you all know, this is the very last college video. I actually had to redo this one because my last one was 40 minutes. I got a little bit, it's a little too much, I think, for the average YouTube audience, so here we go. Well, my last year, last year at the time I did one of these reviews, I said I hoped everything would get better. It didn't. It kind of did, and then it didn't, if that makes any sense. Over summer, everything did turn out to be a little bit better. Um, I got a group of friends, three of them, uh, two of them still keeping contact, so I guess that's something. And when fall started, I probably made one of the biggest mistakes you can possibly do. I um, went out searching for friends, and it turns out that that doesn't work well at all. Essentially what happened was there was somebody I thought I could trust, who I talked to a few times in the past, who pulled me into this group of people. Um, to describe this people, these amount of people, I should actually ex explain my particular um, situation now socially. I am the ultimate outcast. Quite simply meaning, this was a group of people who didn't quite belong and got together. And I was kicked out of that group in the end of this. So it's kind of interesting. Um, this person kind of made me think I could trust them. And I did for a bit, and I did hang out with them for a little. And... Um... They wanted me to change and stop. I was kind of depressed at the time. I mean, crying out loud, I've been depressed quite a bit. And I tried very hard to learn social skills. And I tried, but they weren't helping. And they affected my, this group affected my grades negatively and everything. But I kept trying. I never really felt a part of it. I kind of hoped I would eventually, but I guess there wasn't any place for me. And um, in the end, this person really hurt me. Um, besides siding with somebody who had threatened me three times and blown up at me three times, and I hadn't really, I'm not sure if I did anything or not. I mean, it was bad enough that my memories are blocking out. Good thing I recorded this yesterday, so I reopened it a bit. Um, I trusted this person a lot, and I trusted a few people there, and they all eventually, I later found out that the person who'd blown up at me three times and is one of the reasons why my friends won't hang out with me anymore the ones I had before is because that person was apparently doing some kind of defamation shit and making fun of me and the whole table was actually making fun of me and I was just there for their personal amusement at some level, I guess. They didn't really accept me and every faux pas I made, I guess, was funny. And in the end, this person, uh, but you know, just after siding with this other person, bully person when he blew up at me the third time, threatened to throw my book, and among other things. Um, about, I left that group, and this person kept coming up, tried to drag me back in, I'm like, I'm not going back down there, I'm not going back there. And then this person said, well, you've got to change, or uh, we're going to drop you because you can't keep being this way. And I'm thinking, you know what, I'm freaking depressed. He says, you don't have it that bad, and... I was, I was in the mindset at that point where I was just slowly detaching again, like I'd done four years ago, and I don't think I would have listened to anyone. And this person took something I said. I took some pictures of them at the end of the school year and said I was just going to make characters out of them. And they said, are you sure? Not, are you going to make me into a monster? And I said, no, I only do that with myself. Well, it's honestly true. I use my body as a base for monsters because I kind of got this in-between body. So, um... This person took it personally, and apparently had been planning to ditch me for at least a month based on the way they're interacting with me. And um, they'd known all these other people longer anyway. And um, on the day of the Sandy Hook massacre, there was no way this person could have not seen it. They'd had a pre-prepared text message for two weeks. And at exactly at around 1.30, 2 o'clock that day, they sent the test message. At the moment that they were finding the bodies of the little children on the television. I'm not joking. I think this person was trying to find a point in time when I would be... I mean, this person uses Facebook and everything. There's no way they couldn't have known, so... I think that they wanted to hurt me deep, and they did. And even if I would have given them a chance after that test message anyway, I probably wouldn't have. The timing they did it was just ridiculous. And then um, after the third blow-up, another person had intervened and tried to be my friend. This person turned out to be um, a blatant liar and threw me further into madness and the social I mean this whole group fucked up my grades I got an incomplete in one class it was a horrible situation I I, I don't want to think don't 
This other person dragged me into a total fantasy world, lied to my face, brought up whole my crazy situations that I wouldn't have believed if I hadn't already been partially detached and pulled me further and further and further out of reality. And I think it was part of their own twisted game because they weren't really in reality either. So it got to the point that I came back a bit for classes. I came back a bit outside of class for a few hours. But it got to the point where around this last July, I was just... June, July, end of June, I just started detaching faster and faster and faster. I mean, the person who tried to help me after the table ditched me sent a message via Skype when I was very mentally stressed and I was under the impression I'd been helping them and I hadn't. And it, with all the stress combined, I almost off myself. So this person's very f***ed up. I won't name names. And, you know, blatantly lied and all this other stuff. So, I was pulled to the point where, it's July, I said something horrible to my brother, and I was at this point where I haven't been since I was 10 and a half, 11 years old. And the last time I was here, at that point, I ran away into my head. Literally pulled to Alice. Down the rabbit hole, no looking back, Alice. This time, thanks to intervention from my parents, um... Yeah, again, I said something horrible. I'm very sorry, Ryan. I, I apologize. I, I didn't. If I'd been in my right, I wouldn't have. I'm sorry. But anyway, my parents intervened. And they shocked me back. I could have made the decision while I was in the car to run, and I didn't. And I made the decision to come back. Completely. For the first time in years. Many years, more years than I'd be willing to admit. And this last year socially in college wasn't, wasn't all bad. I mean, yes, this one person pulled me into a madness thing that would have made them the best thriller novelist <laughs> put them for a run with their mon for their money, the best crime novelist to run for their money. It was insane. Yes, these other people made me think I could trust them. I even shared this channel with them, which is a mistake, but yeah. But on the upside, I still have my one friend. Um, the other one still keeps in contact with me. One of them wants to go up to Minnesota with me this year yet, so that's cool. I made a few others in my other classes, which I'll be talking about shortly. And some of them want to actually hang out with me. Not because I'm weird or different or entertaining, but because they like me as me. And I've been talking to these people on and off over the past year or two, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So, on the social front, I'm kind of back to where I was last spring, but I think I definitely learned something from that. And before I go on past the social, past the crap, because it's going to be gone by tomorrow, I can't even remember the names of these people. I remember one of the names, and most of the ones who hurt me are just, their names are going away very quickly. Trauma. But, essentially, I'd like to thank them. I'd like to thank the first group, quite simply because... You guys taught me that if you ever feel excluded from a group, even if they're supposedly trying to include you, you should leave. Because it'll hurt you if you don't. And I wanted to leave, and they kept pulling me back in, saying they didn't want me to be antisocial. And the truth is, I really think they just liked messing with me. I don't know how else to say it, because they've never even tried to explain it otherwise. And if you're watching, you can message me and try to explain it otherwise, but that's what I think. Okay? I want to thank you because you gave me experience I should learn in high school. You also pushed me to a point I wouldn't have been, and you taught me that if somebody tries to tell you to change for them so they'll let you into the group, and it's a change that's essentially a fundamental change of your character, and they aren't willing to understand that you have problems, and, oh, it is possible that someone like you can have problems. Don't let these people, don't, just don't let them, don't let them mess with you. Leave. I should have. I wanted to and I should have. Don't go looking for friends out of desperation. Don't, don't look. They'll just come to you. If there's a voice, and if there's a nagging feeling in the back of your head that you don't belong there, you don't belong there. You should probably go. I mean, I'm not saying all the time, but if you've spent a fair amount of time with me and just feel like you don't belong yet, and you've tried and you've tried and you've tried, and you have legitimately classified social issues as a disability, you should probably leave, or it'll hurt you. 
if it's obvious that very few people there are really supporting you and the ones who are just doing it because they want you to change, you should leave. So the first group, I'd like to thank you for teaching me these wonderful lessons. They came in great handy, and you also pushed me to a breaking point. And by doing that, you let this, and this other person like to thank you for dragging me all the way to the edge I haven't been in since I was 11 years old. You want to know why? Because, okay, another thing I want to thank these people for is unlocking two very particular memories that I had blocked off and are the reason I'm terrified of people. They were my, they, I now know why, so I can work with it. So I'd like to thank you guys again for that. You unlocked trauma memories that are helping me deal with my fear of people and my social anxiety. That is wonderful. Let's all give these people a hand. For being not our douchebags. The second person, I want to thank you for a different reason. I want to thank you for dragging me to the edge again so that the same kind of memories, those same kind of things, that same time period, all those years ago, I made the decision to run to my head. Guess what? You put me in that point where I made the decision to come back. Doing that, part of me I left at that edge came back with me. I am whole again. Thank you, douche. That is all I can say about that. In the end, I came out better than I was last fall. I feel more together. I feel more like myself than I have since I was 11 years old. I love it. So honestly, all social shit, don't care. Because in the end, I'm better for it. Yeah, it traumatized me pretty bad and I'm blocking away the memories, but they unlock things and put me in positions I haven't been in for years. I was able to do what I couldn't do back then. So again, thanks. On to the other front. This is That's really all bad that happened minus the incomplete in class. That's it. Yeah, I mean, and the fact that this, because this other person who intervened, you know, at the end, the one I was talking about after the other two ditched me and took me to La La Land, that affected my spring grades. I would like to personally apologize to Doug and Teresa for my problems with any problems I had in class. Um, you're wonderful teachers and you taught me great things and you, you know, I, I just, I'm not cut out for Vicom, but thank you for letting me in your classes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. You helped me learn about the audio. So I want to thank these three people. They're actually teachers at my school if they ever see this. I'd like to thank all the members of the Island Misfits Toys, aka Vicom. I'd like to personally state I will never ever make fun of you because you are awesome people and everybody who posted comments and that and everything that helped me through and everybody in that class that tried to help and was understanding to a degree, even if in the end I kind of pushed you away, thank you for doing what you did. Thank you for being there. I'd like to thank some other people who I can't mention because they're related to my other online sites and aliases. Thank you very much for being there and supporting me. Thank you to people for my games. Thank you. A lot of you people believe it or not, are what kept me to reality. Not the people on, only on you, not just the people on YouTube, but like others in real life and online and everything. I just want to thank you. By the way, it's I'm dying in this. My apartment's like 91 degrees and I'm wearing this right now because I'm going to go exercise afterwards. I have to clean it anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. So that's about it for the social front. I am not going to go searching for friends anymore. I'm going to let them come to me. And I'm not going to change for anyone anymore. I'm going to, I'm back to being whole again. I'm back to being better. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, however, these people did cause my bulimic tendencies to go boom for like five months. And I'm just now going back into restricting. So, I'm not really happy about it. Should have like bottled my purge fluids and dumped it on the doorstep. <laughs> nah, it's not me. I'm not that vindictive. Where am I? Anyway. So onto the whole studies front. On the studies front, I actually learned a lot in the last year. I finished my last third semester classes, but because the incomplete, I couldn't go into my final semester. Otherwise, I'd be graduating this upcoming fall. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. So instead, I'm taking, I took uh, Vicom classes in the spring. I passed graphic design fairly well. I'd like to thank Ingrid for that. You're an awesome teacher. You're amazing. And Rebecca and everybody else in the class. Unfortunately, I can't remember all your names. Um, I even want to thank the people who gave me some really horrible end of the year reviews on my project. You know who you are. I'd like to thank uh, Ingrid again for showing us this really cool video towards the end about designing cities and designing things. How graphic designers don't just have to do advertising, which I've kind of been against for a long time. So 
I'm going to start looking more into that kind of a branch of things and doing more just concept design for things that aren't just pretty pictures. So that's something really cool that I found out of that class. Um, thanks to Dave, my project print design production manager teacher, I was able to um, learn the skills that helped me pass a three-week version of the same class. Print design production is the hardest class in the entirety of graphic design. And I passed it in three weeks. So, thank you, Dave. The core things you got through my thick skull helped me just pass this last class. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Camden, my tutor. You guys are awesome. And Camden, I really, really, really hope that you go on to do amazing things and whatever. And if you don't, I'm going to find you and like bonk you on the head with a rubber mallet. So do it. Um, other than that, uh, spring semester, because of my, they didn't have, I didn't realize I had to actually retake the class. I thought I only had to finish the work. So I actually retook it in three weeks because of that. I signed up for some Viacom classes. That's where Doug and Teresa are. One of them is video production one. The other was digital drawing fundamentals and I learned how to make an animatic. I learned got better proportion skills. Um, I increased my ability. I can draw a square now. Now you don't have any, you have no idea. I can't draw a square or a box to save my soul and I can draw, <laughs> give me a moment. I can't draw a square or a box, but I can draw this. <laughs> I, I, wait, it gets better. I can't draw a square or a box. And that was freehand by the way but I can draw this. So yeah, it's kind of a big deal that I can go draw a square and a box now. Very, very big deal I can draw in perspective. Huge deal, it's awesome. Those are unfinished by the way. But yeah, so I can draw a box. The running gag in my program is I can't draw a box. I, it was so funny. I would just, I can draw a box, Miss. You know, I can draw a box, see? It's a bad box. I know. <laughs> so, I can draw one now. I can also do animatics. Thanks to Doug's class, I know how to do editing and video. I know how to mess with audio. I know how to use Premiere. And I know how to use Audition. I also know how to use After Effects. In fact, Doug, because of your class, I got a really, really good grade in um, digital drawing fundamentals because I was able to use Premiere. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It was awesome. I wasn't exactly always there and I wasn't able to focus because this other person, but right around the time, the person who drove me to La La Land, I actually dropped around, I actually had to detach myself from them around January, February, March, April-ish. So around April, we were doing our third project for the final project. And then they got themselves back into my life at the final project and I finally just removed them and I couldn't focus worth shit. So, but I did pass the class. However, the unfortunate thing about the spring classes was I got sick the Tuesday we were supposed to be there. I got really, really couldn't move ill. So I ended up showing up on Thursday and uh, I didn't know that nobody was there. So, oops, sorry about that. I had like a 107 fever or something. I don't know. Then the interim class was awesome. We got to do, um, I, did, I took a screen printing class in spring too. And that was really, really, really fun. Really, 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 really fun. And um, my teacher said that my best thing was when I took the, there's multiple methods to screen print. I might go over them later. But I sent this particular method. I did one cut um, of a stencil in one go. And it was one stencil, overly intricate. And he thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I actually might have it around here somewhere. So yeah, I might show that in like a, an audio something covering of what I did over the last semester or something. I don't know. But uh so that was fun. And then I took, again, the interim class. It was tough. It was from 8, I think it was 7, 8 o'clock, at 7.45 we could go into class. And it was 8 to 3 or 5 o'clock every day. 8 to, yeah, it was nonstop class, 8 in the morning to that far in the afternoon. And I passed. And I put a lot of effort into it. And I'd be like multi-boxing on my computer to get everything done. So that was really, really cool. And I got some really good portfolio pieces out of that. And I actually figured out how to set a book up too. So I might be able to do that on my own. Awesome. Um, what else? Uh, other than that, well, that's really about it for the last year, like studies wise. I learned a lot of skills. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to subscribe to Adobe Cloud, obviously. But yeah, overall, I learned a lot of things. 
I mean, I think that's what really is the most, no matter all the social crap, regardless, I still learned a lot and I enjoyed it. And I learned that I love graphic design. I learned that my big thing is I want to design the world. I would love to do video work, sort of. Like, I'll still be doing it as kind of a hobby, but I'm really more of a designer and conceptor. And I realized that my real goal in life isn't just to design advertisements like everyone else wants to do the easy street. I'm going to try to do the impossible in portfolio because this upcoming semester... Oh, and again to Teresa, thank you for letting me into your digital drawing class and you didn't have to after what happened with web design last summer. <laughs> I was a little bit depressed. Just a little bit depressed. So I'd like to really thank her again. And thank all the awesome teachers who've helped me through the years. Um, John and Dawn. There's two John teachers and Chris and everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, everybody who's kind of helped me out. I wouldn't be in my final semester if it wasn't for all of you at school and online. Um, what else? Something important I'm supposed to be talking about. Oh yeah, final semester. Now, the reason I'm not taking my final final class because my final class is called Portfolio. It's essentially the make it or break it class for my degree. And I'm gonna be working most of my summer on that. And part of it is actually gonna be some little shorts I'm gonna be doing on YouTube. So the little shorts I mentioned in um, the previous video, those are gonna be in it. I have design project management, I think advanced web design or something like that and integrated design. And then I've got portfolio. So I have three classes this fall. And again, it doesn't seem like much to really take graphic design, trust me. You can take an English degree, you can take any degree, hell, you can even take biology and take like five or six courses at once. <laughs> Ooh, still easier than graphic design. Because you have to learn a lot of technical stuff and learn about points and pikas and measurements and every, you have to literally angle everything perfectly and you'll know if one little thing goes off. And I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I'm like, must. I spent way too long on my projects. I could have done them in less time, but I spent time at home and whatever. And that's actually what gets me my, I spend more time than I probably would. So I'll forego lunch to finish a project. I'm obsessed. That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Um, what else other than that? Other than that, I found a new online game, um, courtesy of the group who ditched me. Oh, and because of them, I'm going to work on a design for a teacher. I'm serious. You know what I was going to say? Ultimate Outcast. I'm going to have really cool things. The Ultimate Outcast. Now all these really cool designs on the side. So that's going to be something I'm going to do in commemoration of that. And I'm going to just wear it because it sounds awesome. Um... Yeah, so this fall I'm going to finish up these classes. Uh, that's why this summer is going to be more active than this upcoming fall. Next spring I'm doing portfolio, and one of the reasons this is the final college video is because I'm going to be focusing much, much, much more on work. I really won't have as much time for socialization over the fall and the spring. And because of that, and because it's going to be my final semester, there's not really going to be much to cover. Um, you guys might get a preview in spring of my final portfolio or bits and pieces of stuff in it, or some of the animations I'm going to do. But other than that, I mean, this is it. So, since I've gotten to this point without doing the 40 minutes before, and I'm almost at 30, it's 10 less, I would like to finish this up by, first off, saying everybody who has taken something away from these, these videos, I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy if I've helped anyone, or if anybody got any advice on what's going to happen to them. Um, the other thing is, um, concerning college itself and anybody who thinks that my experience is normal I will have to say that my experience is not the norm it it isn't but if you're ever in the same kind of situation I was and am I would like to give some advice first off don't give up all the advice I give early in the video follow that but don't give up if you get to the edge again come back don't don't let yourself run around to your head it's it's not worth it it takes up to 10 years to get back man no matter how cool it seems it's not worth it the other thing I'd like to say is focus on your studies. I said this in almost every video, but the studies are what you're in college for. You can learn these social skills in college. You can learn these little tweaks. But it's best if you focus on your studies. Focus on your bodily nutrition, too. There's nothing worse than relying on coffee for an entire semester. That was me last spring. Java, 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 Java. Java, Java, Java. Java, 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 Java. Java, 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 Java. Java! That was literally me. I had my coffee every morning. I'm currently detoxing. It's painful. So yeah, don't get coffee dependent if you can help it. Get tea dependent, it's better. Um, what else? No matter how bad it looks, no matter how many social screw-ups you get, 
as long as you finish college and you've learned what you came to learn and you are a better person because of it, it's worth it. And to quote somebody who posted, um, actually in a previous video, even if you don't really get any close friends in college, even if it's not the ideal life, just remember that almost the most successful people who legitly got their success, not you, Mr. Walker of my state, Mr. Governorship, who didn't finish it, they either dropped out of college or they were not really the best, most loved person. They didn't have necessarily close friends in college and they ended up focusing on their work as a result, kind of like what I'm going to do. This is what made them successful. Also remember that you didn't go to college necessarily for social or parties. You went because you wanted to learn. That's why I went. I kind of lost track of that over the year to a little degree, but I know that's why I'm there now. For crying out loud, I just read an entire book on horse breeds in two days, and I read Michael Christ and all three novellas. Yeah. Well, actually, the book's right behind me, way over. Okay, wait. It's... Ah, there. That book. That one that my hand is... Right there. That one. Yeah. That's the book. So, and the other thing is learn to love your books. If you don't have friends in particular, learn to love books. Learn to love something. Exercise. If you ever feel down, exercise. I had to have a surgery so I couldn't exercise for a lot of the semester, and I really felt down because of it. So, and I couldn't exercise before it either. Now that I'm getting back into it, it brings, it makes me happy. Get addicted to it. It's great, and there's nothing better than exercising and then trying to study and realizing, oh my god, my brain's working better. It's even better. Get pets. Why? Well, oh, come here. One of you. Oh, come on. Come on, smile for the camera, you lazy buggers. Ugh. One moment. I have to reach over this way and grab something about the size I am. I'm going to show you what helped me through. Come here. This thing. Here. This is... If you watched the video, this is the rolling over cat. God, he is. This guy and the other gray one, they helped me through. They helped me through the years. They've helped me through college. And they've helped me get another fur coat. Ah! Flying cat fur! So yeah, I just get something fuzzy or I don't care, snake, scorpion, anything, a pet of some kind, and it helps. I mean, you'll be okay if you have somebody or something that cares for you. And it's fluffy. Fluffy helps. Um, other than that, if you can't find friends in real life, try online. It sounds stupid, but it works. But don't trust everyone online, basic internet rule. But, you know, it, it does work, and it does help. So, in that area of the social, don't worry if you go to college and you don't become best friends with everyone. But don't change. Don't change because people want you to change to be part of their group. Never do that. I almost did. And if you're going into college in kind of situation like me where you're not completely together, just hope if you come out at the end and you're back together again, you should be very, very happy. I am. I have smile lines. I actually have to start using my hemp lotion again. It's like... Yeah, so that's really it. If at the end you come out, you've learned what you wanted to learn, and you're still together, it hasn't eaten you, you still have a youthful appearance, and you still love what you're doing. Go to get a degree you love. Because one of the Buffett rules is, you can be really good at something, but if you hate it, you're never really going to make something of yourself in that field. If you love it, there's no nothing that will stop you from succeeding. It's that simple. So, that's about it. Um... Again, I'm really happy for everybody that this vi these videos have helped. Um, I'm kind of sad to see this series go. It's kind of in my coup de force, concern my tour de force, considering what you know I do on YouTube. Um, the new direction is going to be a lot more comedy based, which is kind of where it's been to a degree for the most part, anyway. And uh, because of the term "design the world," I actually am probably going to do a sign, a song, or something about that, or some kind of little animation. So. That's it. This is the last video. I'm actually very sad about this. So I'm hoping that, again, everyone's learned something. Um, and I'm also hoping that in five, six years, you guys will see me and I'll be some kind of big shot and everything will have been worth it. 
I'm not hoping it's going to happen. Because I'm also going to get a job this summer. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. No matter what side you're on, no matter if you're one of the reasons I fell down so many times and had to pick myself back up and crawl back up and get back together. If you're one of the people who shattered me so I had to put myself back together whole for the first time in years. If you're one of the people who kept pushing me back down so I'd get back up again. I think, and if you're one of the people who supported me, who helped me, who was there, who worried about me. I mean, thank you. And one more piece of advice. If you think that no one in your degree really cares about you, you're probably dead wrong. Trust me. I've got a lot of people I realize now in my degree that care about me. Oh, and one more thing. Before I end in like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, the um, one thing I was forgetting is I'm actually now the treasurer of my art club in school. So that's really awesome. And I'm a partner. I have no idea how that happened. So I'm going to thank all of you guys right now for that. This has been the very last college video with Sammy Wheeler. Um, I hope it was a nice semi-condensed, you know, conclusion. And I hope that in the years to come, people still continue to get help out of these. Uh, and peace out.